Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous videos, we learned that how we can create the customer in the Stripe, how to update the customer and how to destroy the customer. So now question arise that you are destroying the customer. So how to do the plans, subscriptions, payments and stuff like that. So that's why I'm here and uh, I'm you know, going to teach you that how you can do this. So let's save this one close this out to uh, close this out to uh, save this one close this out and close this one so here i'm going to first uh, create a new request and in the new request i'm going to uh, let me copy a new request from there so i'm not going to fulfill these headers so i already told you that i'm very tired to fill these headers again and again right so i edit this here so i'm first naming this uh, uh, get all plans get all plans save this one make this duplicate and uh, get all subscription get all subscriptions so which we did not create it anymore so we are going to create them so let's click on this get all plan and go here and change this method a get and here we need to also change this url so let's go to the plans so it's there click on this plans and click on this list all plan because we are going to fetch all the plans so we don't need to set the scope okay so how to do this so let's copy this url so this is a url of getting all the plans and our headers are already set because we cloned our this request so we don't need to pass this one so make this none and submit this request so we will get all the plans so far now we don't have any plans it's not going to retrieve any plan and yes we don't have any plan that's why it's uh, does not returning any plan and so if you uh, create new plans in the in the zoho so we'll return these plans so before creating this plan we need to create a product right so i'm going to make this test and description is also test to description and let's click on this save before uh, creating the plans you need to create a parent product and then you need to refer these plans to this product so these uh, products are these plans are belong to this product so let's click on this plan i'm going to make this botd so bet of the day and plan code so you need to enter the plan code so i'm naming this one two three so you can also define other params like price so i make this 20 dollar bill everyone and let's save this one and yes we are able to add this uh, plan using this gui so now i'm going to get this plan so let's click on this submit and now it's going to return us a plan so click on this submit and wait for a moment and yes now it's returning the plan botd plan id and stuff like that so we are successfully able to get all the plans so next question arise that how we can update the plans and create so these are clearly mentioned so you can check them from there passing their plan code plan id and stuff like that so remember you need to um, uh, pass the product id when you are creating a plan so this product id is this one right this product this one is a test right and test uh, uh, and uh, this btd will belong to this test product great okay so now the time is to go to the subscriptions and uh, go there and create a new list all the subscriptions so we are going to get all the subscription right so copy this url and you go to the postman and here i'm going to click on this get all subscriptions so make this get request update this url i'm going this very faster because we already implemented them no need this one and now the time is to send this request so we are going to get all the subscription and it's returned success and we are getting all the subscription we don't have any subscriptions that's why it's returning null so let's go here and create a new subscription so remember that these subscription belong to a customer and then and the uh, customer uh, and uh, this subscription is also belongs to a plan so we already created a plan so let's create a customer so i'm going to create a customer very quickly so it's a hadi yazi okay i did a typo mistake here and then you need to type uh, the at the rate of oh, test.com and then you need to save this one 
okay so our customer is created so now the time is to click on this subscription and create a subscription so i'm going to create a test subscription so it's a Niazi and then you need to type the product so I'm using this test product and uh, then you need to type your plan so I'm going to use this BOTD so I think it's uh, Zoho test and stuff like that so let's click on this continue okay so we need to select a plan here so I'm using this uh, Zoho test hmm, where is my plan so I enable to locate this plan so let me open this here and it's created in the Zoho test, but this plan, let me go there and my plans, it's in, let me check that where I created this plan. So also check my video size, it's not going bigger. Okay, it's inside the test product and test product contain one plan. So this one is a test and then this test is responsible. Yes, it's now populating this BUTD and I'm not going to enter in description and click on this continue. And yes, it's uh, asking us to enter a credit card and stuff like that. So I'm going to enter a test card. So how you can get this test card? So let me uh, go there. Is there, I think there is a way to fill this uh, form. So how to fill this? So use this one. This is not correct way. But let me create this. So it will suggest us credit card field. So where it is? And so let me make this through a test payment gateway so make this uh, i think i forgot where it is why it's not showing us so i'm going to use click here to view full detail okay so let me copy some dummy code here and then enter this and i'm com coming back Okay, so here you need to choose the payment mode and I choose this due on recipient choose some random option and click on this continue and it's uh, asking me that associate card with subscription have you received payment to uh, let's click it without this one. And yes, it's created this subscription and our subscription is there. This is subscription ID. So let's go back to the postman and send this again so now it's going to return as a subscription and yes now it's returning the customer id plan name subscription id and stuff like that so we are able to get this subscription so hope you learned a lot from this series and in the next videos we are going to build this through our laravel application so we are going to use the Laravel HTTP client to serve us. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.